Hey YouTube, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how autopilot performs in the rain and why I think autopilot is a must for anybody who has to sit in traffic for any amount of time. So if you haven't seen my other videos, anytime that you see the blue circle there with a steering wheel inside of it, that's how you know that the car is on autopilot. Additionally, when you see two blue lines on either side of the car in the center display, you know autopilot is engaged. And so you can see here, I'm in autopilot and it's raining. It's not any hard rain, so there shouldn't be any issues for the system. And I didn't find any issues on this particular drive with the rain. It was still slowing down and speeding up exactly how you would expect a normal driver to operate. So I wanna point out how impressive this optical system is. So there's a lot of water on the road and in some of these parts, you're gonna see pools of water on the road which are gonna skew the lane lines, but the Tesla isn't fooled by that and is able to operate effectively on the smaller road. Now on a highway, I think it does perfectly, there's no issues. So that's why I wanted to focus this video just on smaller roads with more curves, more ups and downs and bends and weaves. So coming up right here on the right hand side, pay attention, the white line is actually gonna disappear when this opening comes but the autopilot does perfectly and is able to maintain its position and carry on through that wider opening. And here you can see visibility is limited because of the rain and the amount of water on the road, but it isn't fooled by this left turn lane here and continues straight. And I think that is because it's utilizing the car in front of it to help it maintain its lane position and the direction that it needs to go. So let's watch that one more time, this time a little bit slower. So you can see the road curves to the right to make room for this upcoming left turn lane, but the autopilot following the double yellow line isn't fooled and sees right there the dash lines and is able to follow through straight rather than get in the left turn lane. I can already hear some of you typing away in the comments saying how, oh, that's not very impressive. This is easy to see, but there's a couple things I want you to think about first. This car doesn't memorize the roads like Google's Waymo system, and it's processing the information that it's receiving from the cameras instantaneously so that it can decide where to turn the car and how to navigate the particular road that's in face in front of it right now. Keep in mind that this is currently just designed for highway use. So primarily autopilot is designed for highway use, but it still is able to navigate these two lane roads or these smaller roads that are, aren't highways perfectly, well, well, not perfectly, but almost perfect. And I think as the months go on and as more and more people are training the system, similar to what I'm doing here and what you might be doing in your Tesla, the car is only gonna get better and better each time a new software update comes out and the system is just gonna keep improving with each software update we get. Okay, let me step down off the soapbox. Take a look right here. I manually turned on the blinker and the car is actually able to change lanes right here, although it does hesitate slightly. The car does remain in autopilot, as you can see with the blue circle. And now that was a relatively short opening for that car to make that lane change. But like I was just saying, as these updates roll out, the system improves rapidly. Eight months ago, it wouldn't have made that lane change. So here we are, the rain has picked up a little bit. Play really close attention to how the car passes through this next intersection right here. And I wanna point out something in slow-mo that you might not have just seen. The car gets confused here a little bit because of the rain and because of the lack of lane lines through this open intersection. It does start to go to the left, but is able to reorient itself in the proper lane as it passes through the intersection. Something you also might not have noticed is, watch how the blue illuminated lines bounce from the right lane to the left lane and back again to the right lane when the car figures out that it's actually supposed to be in the right lane. This is really impressive for a lot of factors. Like I was saying before, you have a lot of rain on the road which is blurring the lane lines for the car to see, not to mention the rain itself, which makes it more difficult for the optical system to get an image so that it can read the image and tell the car where to go. So this smaller two lane road does have a little bit of a curve and it's coming up here. The road is actually gonna curve to the left and the autopilot is able to do a really good job. I think a combination of things is going on here. The car is utilizing the car in front of it and also utilizing the lane lines. Now, obviously the car right there 
going into the right turn lane and then coming back isn't a, something great to follow. So that's why I think that's not the only thing that the car is looking at, but that definitely helps the autopilot system know where it needs to be in relation to the other cars around it and where the road is headed. And so it uses that car in front of it to kind of get a sense of where the road is going to go rather than just going into a turn kind of blindly. So as the cars start to slow down here, this is a great time to jump into the next thing I wanted to talk about, which was how autopilot performs in traffic. So you can see my auto wipers are going pretty fast here and there's no issue for the car in autopilot. You can tell that because the two blue lines and the blue circle there, the car is able to see all the cars around it and this is where driving sucks, let's be honest. Nobody wants to drive in traffic. If you don't have autopilot or you haven't used autopilot and you sit in any form of traffic on your daily commute, this is where autopilot is gonna pay for itself in my opinion. That's because this is the worst type of driving that you can ever put yourself in. Driving to and from work every day, most people sit in about 20 to 30 minutes of stop and go traffic. Some people have even described traffic in certain cities as soul crushing. So if your car has autopilot 2.0 or higher, you're gonna see the same image that I see right here on my center display. So you can see kind of what this car is seeing here and it sees all the cars, not only in front, but also behind the vehicle and on the sides. This is really helpful, not only in stop and go traffic, but also at highway speeds, when you're making a lane change, you don't have to worry about somebody sitting in your blind spot. The car is gonna see it and alert you if you turn in your turn signal before you make the lane change. So as I was sitting stop for a little while, the car is gonna make sure that my hands are in the wheels. So we just give a little shimmy shake and that little pop-up will go away. So here's something I wanna talk about. The autopilot needs to be able to stop at that line back there and not head out into the intersection. Kind of like, you know, you're not supposed to block the box in stop and go traffic. Now in this situation, it was okay because traffic kept moving, but I'm sure there's some instances that you all have run into where the autopilot is just gonna carry on through. And I'm interested to see if that's gonna come in the next update when we get stoplight detection and hopefully enhanced summon gets released to everybody. So as this stop and go traffic continues, you can see that I'm giving minimal input. The only thing that I have to do as a driver is when I get a little warning on the screen that the autopilot or the Tesla wants to see and make sure that my hands are on the wheel. And so all I have to do is kind of shake the wheel or give some weight on one side of the wheel so that the car knows that I'm still paying attention. Like I said before, this is where autopilot pays for itself. This is the worst type of driving to put yourself through in that stop and go traffic where you're constantly going, pushing the pedal, pushing the brake, constantly adjusting, readjusting, and it's just mind numbing stop and go traffic. Let the autopilot take over and do this simple task for you. Before we go, I wanna make sure you guys know, if you use my referral code down below, you can actually get 5,000 miles of free supercharging if you purchase or lease a Tesla. That goes for all models, including the Model 3. That's 5,000 miles of free supercharging. Keep in mind that this offer does revert back to 1,000 miles on May 28th. So order before that date to get 5,000 miles. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I've got several more videos planned for later this week, so stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.